So my name is JC Fortin. I am the Elizabeth Newfer Fellow for 2016-17 with the International Women's Media Foundation. And um, I've been a freelance reporter in Ethiopia and in South Sudan for the past three years. And the fellowship has now taken me to Boston and to New York City, where I'm now wrapping things up. So I applied for this fellowship because I was looking for a way to lay down a better foundation for my work. Um, as I mentioned in my application, freelancing is great in so many ways. It's independent. It allows you to take yourself to where the stories are and you make a living off your ability to be there in the right place and to present important stories to readers who might be thousands of miles away. Um, but it's also a difficult and unpredictable way to make a living and you're often jumping from one subject to another. So what I wanted was the chance to really feel embedded with a news organization. And I got to do that at both the Boston Globe and the New York Times. And seeing how these institutions work up close has given me a much wider perspective on how newspapers work behind the scenes. So the IWMF is a really incredible organization because they do so much. They offer grants, they offer reporting trips, they offer security training, which is very important, uh, and they offer fellowships like this one. So my first interaction with the IWMF was actually on a reporting trip to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and I was honored to be chosen for that, and then again for the Elizabeth Newfer Fellowship, um, because this is such an unparalleled type of opportunity. It's absolutely been transformational. Um, I'm so grateful that this organization exists because female journalists from all around the world and many of them freelancers without access to very much institutional support are benefiting from the IWMS work every single day. Um, the most valuable thing that I've learned over the past seven months has to do with the way that newsrooms are operating in changing times. You know, out there, when I was working in Ethiopia and South Sudan, I would file to editors here, but I didn't really know what goes on here at the headquarters, like the meetings, uh, the editing process, knowing the decision makers. And it's not just the basics of how a newsroom operates, it's how a newsroom operates now and how all of the major newspapers um, across the country are adapting to this digital age where maybe we can't rely on print subscriptions anymore. Uh, maybe we need to find ways to produce more stories more quickly and with more engagement from readers. And these are hard changes to make for huge institutions and editors are grappling with these, with these issues every single day. So it's been a privilege and, and very interesting to watch these experiments unfold. So as far as advice to the next Newfer Fellow, I would say that you have the opportunity to make this fellowship your own. And by that, I mean that you could focus more on, on research, for example, while you're at MIT, uh, or focus on internships and uh, do reporting. So even uh, while reporting, you could, you could focus on international issues, or you can dig into more local issues while you're here. So my own goals were very local. I hadn't had the chance to do city reporting in the United States um, so far in my work. And so I made it a point to get myself a desk at the Globe's Metro section, and then again to do stories um, on regional issues here here at the New York Times. And both of those involved visiting neighborhoods, you know, speaking with local officials, um, covering court cases, and that allowed me to cover social justice issues in a way that felt very different than doing the same kind of work outside the country. This fellowship has been transformative and it will not only influence my future, um, I'm sure it's, it's changed the course of my life even if it's in ways I might not be able to fully predict right now. I've decided to stay in New York and being here and living in such a major hub for global media, it's faster paced work than what I was used to abroad and it's been challenging in that way. Um, but I've really learned much more uh, how much I still have to learn and I'm going to try and stay this course and keep learning how to do well in this kind of space in the middle of it all.